macaroni and cheese, jazzberry jam, and outer space. What do these have in common? Keep watching to find out. So maybe you've already guessed it, but these are strange names of colors. Now I'm Sarah Renee Clark, and my goal is to help you be creative in your everyday life. And today I'm taking on the challenge to put my own color skills to the test to see if I can identify the colors of the 30th strangest color names that we have found online. Now Shane has secretly prepared a list of 30 names, so I haven't actually seen these yet. Now, I make color palettes for a living, so I should be able to do well at this, and I am putting myself on the line a bit here, doing this in front of you. I have no idea what he's picked. I, who knows? We're gonna have to find out together. But I do challenge you, join me with this, grab a piece of paper, see if you can guess what the colors are before they come up, and at the end of this video, I would love you to put a comment down below telling us what score you got, and maybe if there's one or two that caught you by surprise, or tell us if there's some even stranger names that you've heard. But before we dive in, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the little notification button to make sure that you get notified every week when I put out a new video. I'll be doing plenty more fun videos like this, plus I have a whole bunch of tutorials and other teaching to help you get more creative. So here's the list that Shane has prepared for me, and the first one is Outer Space. Now I think that outer space to me feels like it would be like a really dark blue, maybe even a bit of gray, a bit of black. So I'm gonna guess dark blue for outer space. And yes, outer space is a blue, a very dark blue, almost black. I think that's well named. Next up we have Razzmatazz. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I feel like this should be like sparkling glitter, but it's a color, so it can't be. I'm gonna guess something like this color, this sort of ready, pinky, kind of a hot pink raspberry color. Yes, so far, two out of two, I think we're on the right track. Number three is Marvelous. Wait, Marvelous. Okay, Morv, Mauv, I'm probably saying that wrong, but either way, I'm guessing that Movelous or Marvelous is Mauv. Here comes the question, how well do I know Mauv? Because I should know Mauv. A gray with a bit of red in it maybe. All right, this is sort of my guess. It's almost like a gray mahogany kind of color. Okay, so Movilis was a lot lighter and more towards a pink, so I expected it to be a lot more red. Jazzberry Jam. Well, that sounds fun. Um, big Jam, I feel like that's gotta be a pink. Or maybe, oh, maybe a red. Let's go for like a hot pink, I think. Oh, that's actually quite a nice pink. I really like that. It's not quite a hot pink, it's, I would, kind of put that in a raspberry category. I really like that color. Next we have Timberwolf. Timberwolf, I feel like this needs to be brown, surely. Maybe this kind of brown? Okay, so Timberwolf is more of a light gray. So definitely got that one wrong. Number six is Xanadu. Now, if you know ABBA, I'm sure that there's like a connection with that for this color maybe, but I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and I'm gonna say a light blue. Like a sky blue, maybe with a touch of aqua in it. Oh, I was close. I thought of the aqua, I was bringing in a little bit of that green, but not enough. It is a lot more green than I expected. Next we have inchworm. Now this has to be, surely, this has to be like a brown or maybe a gray. Actually, I really don't know. I'm gonna go for this kind of like French gray color. Okay, so I was way off. Inchworm is actually more like a caterpillar. And I should know this because now that I think about it, our kids have a musical inchworm and it's not gray. <laughs> so inchworm's actually green. Next is macaroni and cheese. And I know the answer, yay. <laughs> so definitely orange. Here it is, macaroni and cheese. Fuzzy wuzzy brown. That feels like the kind of brown that you should be able to hug. So maybe like a teddy bear color. So I'm thinking like a brown with maybe a bit of gray in it. Okay, so I'm gonna to read to you the description that Shane found for this color. It is a weird mix between brown and pink. Think about a shaved bear for some reason, and you will get the fuzzy wuzzy color. So it actually comes from a famous children's song about a bear with no hair. All right, number 10, watch it. <laughs> I'm just gonna to have to pick something. So I'm just gonna go with a, a green, like a brownie green kind of color. Mustardy green? I was way off, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> That's definitely not a mustardy green. 
Number 11. I'm not going to say this right. This is supposed to, Shane, this is supposed to be a guess the color challenge, not a pronounce the color challenge. Sinopa or Sinopa? Can someone tell me in the comments how to pronounce that properly? Sinopa. 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 I don't know. Either way, I have no clue what this color would be. So just for the sake of keeping the game going, I'm gonna go with yellow. Okay, well, it's not yellow. <laughs> it's more like a rusty red. I actually don't mind that color, kind of cool. Let's move on. <laughs> Number 12, of course Shane would include this. Puke. Do I, real do I really need to say what we think this color's gonna be? <laughs> Which of my pencils looks most like puke? I guess the real question comes down to <laughs> what you ate beforehand. All right. This is the color I'm going with for puke. Fortunately, when William Shakespeare wrote of a puke stocking, he didn't mean anything to do with vomit. <laughs> In 16th century England, puke was the name of a high quality woolen fabric, which was typically a dull, dark brown color. All right, I was wrong. I admit it. Sorry, Shane. It had nothing to do with vomit. 13, Labrador. Now, I haven't got a few right for a while, so <laughs> let's hope I get this right, surely. A light yellow creamy kind of color I'm thinking <laughs> no this, this this isn't fair this is supposed to be a color of a Labrador when have you ever seen a blue Labrador come on Drake's neck I don't know who Drake is maybe this is obvious to someone else but it's not to me I'm gonna guess a dark red brown all right so this is a Drake and therefore dark red brown was not correct I'm not doing so well at this for someone who should know their colors. Bainan, Bannon, Barnan. I'm gonna say green. I don't even know what kind of green. I'm just, just taking a guess. <sighs> the color of a ripe banana. Banan, banana. Really? Phlox. <laughs> Where did you find these? These are just, okay. I'm just gonna go for a light blue. <laughs> No, no, I'm wrong again. It's like a pink or a violet or... Oh, I'm not doing so well. <laughs> okay, this next one. This next one I am confident if I get this wrong. Mount Batten pink. Has to be pink. Mount Batten is a royal thing. So has to be like a royal pink. What's a, what's a royal pink? Like a really rich pink, I'm thinking. Maybe even a little bit towards a purple or oh, really towards a purple i can't believe i got that wrong as well it's not even pink that's just i was on the right track purple is a royal color so that makes sense but it should have been more pink come on feld growl i know i'm saying that wrong but i'm not even going to try at this point green yes that counts as green right that's green that's a gray green a dark green i wasn't that specific but it's green i'm giving myself a point Viridian, I should know this one. And from memory, I think we're dealing with green. And it's kind of green. I should, I really should have got this right because this is like almost my favorite color. It is it is green, but it's kind of a bit more blue. It's a bit more teal. Yeah, I'm claiming it. I'm taking the point for Viridian. Skobolov, probably pronounced that wrong as well. Um, can I say gray, like a mid gray, like a medium sort of gray, or maybe like my favorite color again, <laughs> like exactly teal, like the chair that I'm sitting on. This is really depressing. I thought this was going to be fun. <laughs> Glaucus, Gla Glaucus, Glaucus, Glaucus. Can I say medium blue with a bit of gray? I'm claiming it. It's blue. There's not really any gray, but it's a medium blue. Number 22 is Celadon. So we're going with blue. And it's not blue. <laughs> it's green. I should point out at this point that I told my sister earlier that I was going to do this. And she said to me, make sure you look them up first so that you look smart on camera. And I said, no, it'll be fine. I kind of at the time didn't expect to actually get this many wrong. This is really embarrassing. Or really... Or... Aurelian. Aurelian. I don't want to just keep saying blue, but I feel like that should be a blue too. Or maybe it's like the completely other end of the color wheel. Bellywood. Let's go with orange. Oh, not really orange at all. It's more like a sand, a brown. 
Gamboge. So I'm going with this purpley gray color. Or maybe I'll just change my mind really quickly because yeah, okay, I was way off. <laughs> Coquelicot. No, it's not yellow. It's... <laughs> I was sure that I would get like at least some of these right. How many you got right? Like three? I don't know, are you keeping track? Oh, this next one is gonna break me because it's vermilion. And I know that I should know vermilion. I'm going with red. Yes! Yes! Finally! Finally! I got one right! Alright, we're almost through this. The next one is amaranth. But I don't know whether it's green or pink. And they are very different. I'm going to go with green. Wrong. No! Is it pink? It's pink, it's pink, it's pink, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Goose turd green, but surely it's green, right? Surely it's green. It's green! <laughs> I'm sorry, but what on earth was that goose eating to get that kind of color green? It's the last color, my last chance to redeem myself. And this is a Bernian. And considering I'm not even sure if I've said it right, I don't like my chances of redeeming myself. But here we go. It all comes down to this. I have no clue, Shane. <laughs> no clue what this could, I don't even have like a, maybe it's like this warm, or I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> so even though it's probably wrong, I'm gonna go for like a teal. Well, that, that's it. I'm done. I'm <laughs> well, I clearly did not do as well as that as I would have liked to, but I would love to hear how you went. How many did you get right? Which ones caught you by surprise? Please tell me in the comments below how you went. So thanks for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to find out every time I publish a new video. If you want to check out some other videos, right here I've chosen another video that I think you're gonna love, but please stop and check out my channel because I have so much else to show you. Tutorials, color palettes, lots of things, lots of fun. Please join me, I cannot wait to get creative with you. Bye.